everyone, Chelsea Brady here, and today I have another fun and unique summer themed manicure. It is still space themed, but I was literally obsessed with two things this Colores de Carol polish and also an ET stamping plate, which we're gonna get into later. By the way, if you do like these kind of videos, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, join the Chills crew, and let's get started. So the only polish I used in this manicure was Cassiopeia by Colors de Carol. It was a March PPU limited edition polish. I will list any D-Stash page down below where you might be able to find this if it did not tickle anyone's fancy, but I do want to state that this is a pretty good polish. It does have reflective glitter in there, so in low lighting or with a flashlight, you can really see those sparkles or glitters really showing. Now, I did do two coats over a black polish, and this is just to help out with the opacity. When using magnetics, you will notice that the magnet will actually pull the polish from either side or separate or disperse. However, you can then thus leave an area that looks like it's not as opaque as the rest of of the nail so that's why it's crucial to use a black polish underneath it not to mention especially with reflective glitters they're very very gritty and they can kind of get thick over a period of so many coats so that's why i prefer doing two coats over a black unless it's a lighter color of course then maybe try to pick something that's comparable to the color so next I'm gonna be using my Glitter Grabber by Glisten and Glow. This is a glitter smoothing top coat. This is great for smoothing any type of glitter, including reflective glitters, because if you've had a polish that has reflective glitter in it, you know it feels kind of like sandpaper. So with that, you don't wanna stamp over a gritty surface. From here, what I do is I just take the arc magnet and I go back over the polish one more time. And the reason for this is so that in that case, this helps that magnetic effect still stay strong. So it doesn't kind of like fade out or disperse where it doesn't, look as striking on the nail so for me this is kind of crucial to make sure that I go back over it again with a magnet Now once the nail is completely dry, I can go in with my Sticky Base Coat by Maniology. This is great when you're trying to adhere multiple stamps and you need some tack. So I wait about a minute and then I can go in with stamping so it'll make it a lot easier. So I wanted to have that contrast of the forced bright green summer vibe. So I went with Sour Apple by Maniology. This is a beautiful light green stamping polish and I'm gonna be using the Lena Nail Art Supply Four Seasons Winter O2 plate. This has a great layering forested effect. And if you're curious, I did use this in a previous manicure in a winter theme. So I will link that up in the cards if you wanna see that video and how I did that manicure with a winter vibe to it. Next, I use Poison. This is a beautiful metallic emerald green polish. It has a great formulation, very opaque. I didn't have any problems with this. I wanted some definition compared to the light green cream. So this is why I chose Poison, just to kind of add that contrast and definition and just even a different finish to compare to the cream. I felt like it just added the right touch. Next, I'm gonna be using the Straight Up Black by Maniology. This is a beautiful, creamy, opaque black stamping polish, by far my favorite. Now, I will state, I went after this effect to kind of give the illusion that the trees in the background are illuminated by the moonlight. So with this, I stamped on the black and then I re-stamped the same type of image on the bottom half of the nail to make sure that the nail was actually even with the coverage so that when I stamp over it again, it'll be nice and smooth and it won't look bumpy or ridgy. So once I try, I'm gonna go ahead and put a smudge-free top coat on. This is by Maniology. This is to help make sure that the sticky polish or base coat that I'm gonna apply on top of this doesn't actually smear the nail art or the nail stamping underneath. So I need to make sure that it is protected. So that's why I'm putting a layer of this on first. Now I'm gonna go in with Bam White. This is a beautiful bright white stamping polish by Maniology. And I'm gonna go in after the moon that is on this Moyu London ET03 collection plate. Now with this, I'm gonna go in with the Greyjoy, which is a light gray color that's gonna fill in all of the shadowing and crater effects that are on the moonlight that you normally see at night. I'm gonna set it to the side to dry. 
Now I'm going to go in with Storm Cloud. This is a nice dark gray stamping polish and I'm going to be using this for the shadowing effect of the gray house. So this is the darker shade of gray that I'm going to go after with this home so that you see it's in a, you know, a dark part of the forest. And then I'm going to use Zinnia. If I said that correctly, it is a creamy, bright lemon yellow stamping polish. And this is going to be for the lights in the house. As you can see, I'm just filling them in and also including that little bay window on the side. I'm gonna be using Bam White for the garage door. And then for the rest of the house, I will be using the Greyjoy, which is that light gray stamping polish. Once I'm done filling in the stamp, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything to the side to dry, and then I'm gonna work on the next image. So I'm gonna go after the spaceship here, again, in the Greyjoy, that nice light gray, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in, again, with the Zinnia, just to kind of get some contrast and that there's lights on in the spaceship, and then I'm gonna set that one to the side to dry. Now, once my stamping images are completely dried, I then go in with a sticky base coat. Now, this is just to help with the tackiness of the layer because these are gonna be dry stamps. So here, I'm just applying a thin coat to the index nail slash tip, and I'm gonna wait about a minute. You can see here, I'm just kind of testing it out to see how tacky it is. And then I can go ahead and place my moon down in the center so it's just nice and bright. Right after that, I go ahead and apply another layer of the smudge-free top coat. So now I'm gonna go after the spaceship image in Bam White. This is just to help that gray polish pop against that dark background. And here I'm gonna place the spaceship right over that magnetic band where I'm putting it at an angle as if it's like the spaceship is pulling up the person with that beam of light. So that is the reason why I chose a straight line rather than the curved pattern. And then here after I went ahead and placed my spaceship down, I went back in and then I could go ahead and place all of my trees down because I wanted to first put the spaceship down just to make sure that I got the right angle I got everything correct and then I could do the same technique again as you can see I'm just basically making a thin nice even layer with that stamping polish on the bottom of the nail because I'm going to be placing the house at the bottom of it so once everything is completely dried, I can then go in with my smudge-free top coat, apply a thin layer to this just to make sure that it doesn't smudge when I put my sticky base coat down. I feel like a broken record at this point, but then after that's completely dry, I apply a thin layer of the sticky base coat, wait about a minute, and then I can go ahead and start placing down the other stamps to the snail. So here I'm going after this beam of light. I'm taking a piece of like rolled up scotch tape to just kind of get all the extra beams out. And I just want to put these two beams down just to emphasize the light that's coming down from the supposed spaceship. I'm going to be using the straight up black for the person being sucked up into the spaceship and then I can finally put my house down. Now that the house is down, I can go ahead and place the Anato Clay, which is this dirt brown colored brown stamping polish. And I'm gonna take a nail art brush. Um, this is the one from Maniology. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint a light layer over the black that's at the bottom of the nail. I'm basically giving the illusion that the house is not just floating in the dark blackness, but instead it's on, you know, a dirt path, I guess, because this is technically out in the middle of the woods. After the nails are completely dried, I go in with my Super Chick Lacquer Quick Drying Top Coat. I really enjoy this stuff because it makes your nails look really juicy, plump, looking super glossy. You can see that metallic finish behind those black trees and really making the other green really pop along with the Starry Night Look Sky. I mean, even in indirect low lighting, as you can see here, this absolutely looks stunning. I love how the little guy looks like he's being beamed up into the spaceship and it gives this beautiful Aurora Borealis look. Everything that I use in today's video, I will link down below. I am very curious though, what your thoughts are on reflective glitter, what you thought of this polish, the overall manicure and the stamping polishes that I used. Not to mention, do you believe in aliens or do you like these space themed manicures? Let me know down below. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, join the Chills crew. Plus I also have more content at the end of this with some playlists. So go ahead and check those out. Until then, take care and stay chilly.